Hello Grade 7, it's English time. I am Teacher Lestor, your guide in becoming star learners of English. And this is English on Air. Did you know that when we listen, we only remember about 50% of what we've learned after 8 hours? It even becomes less if we don't focus or if we are disinterested with the topic. But then, a bigger percentage of what we know has been learned through listening. Does that make you realize the importance of listening in our lives? Good thing there are skills and strategies that we can apply to make ourselves good, hmm, excellent listeners. That's what we'll talk about today. Let's start with this. You love word puzzles, don't you? Find examples of listening materials from this pool of letters. Here are the answers. Did you find all of them? If you did, you just got three stars from Teacher Lester. How often do you listen to these texts? Which ones do you listen to in school, at home, or in other places? Do you listen to them for information or for entertainment? When you listen to a song, you focus on the lyrics or on certain lines and stanzas for you to know its message. Do you do the same when you listen to a news report? Or you just pay attention to names, dates, places, and other key details? Guess what? These strategies and more work depending on your listening goal. Together, let's find out how we can use different listening strategies based on purpose. Among the listening strategies or skills that we can apply are listening for details, listening for gist, listening selectively, drawing inferences, and making predictions. But for this video, we will focus on the first three. We'll listen to short texts and we'll find out the most appropriate strategy for each listening task. Here's the first one. As you listen to the following news report, try to answer the following questions. Filipinos are now required to wear face shields on top of their face masks every time they go out of their homes. This is according to the latest resolution of the Interagency Task Force on Monday as authorities sought to prevent a potential surge of coronavirus cases this holiday season. The Department of Health earlier recommended the use of face shields as this could lower the risk of transmitting the virus by as much as 96 percent. Malacanang says, the penalties for violating this new rule will depend on local government units. The IATF in the same resolution also allowed provincial buses to resume operations in point-to-point -point routes approved by the LTFRB and the local government unit of the destination, as well as stopovers and transit terminals. This as more Filipinos are expected to go back to the provinces this holiday season. Let's check your answers. Did you get all the correct answers? Great job! 
Take note that when you were listening, you had to pay attention to specific types of information from the text to be able to answer the given questions. You just applied listening for details. Commonly, we listen intensively or closely to answer specific questions. In doing this, listen for keywords or statements that answer what, who, when, where, why, and how questions. Let's explore another strategy. What are the two personalities talking about in the following conversation? Gretchen, hello. Good morning to you. Hi, good morning, Karen. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> oh, no. As clearly, what you did made news and affected so many lives. Oh, Karen, grabe. Parang this is ano, just a really amazing story, even for me. Kasi I just was moved to do something. Parang I wasn't comfortable being comfortable at home. And I just had to do something about what was happening outside. So, mag-donate lang talaga ako ng 50 bikes. And then, sabi ko, I don't know how much I will be able to fundraise. But you, usually, I remember during the pandemic, people would raise money for food, mm -hmm. donate mm -hmm. meals, right? But, you know, the bikes was such, for me, such, it was needed, it was creative, it was innovative, it's practical. Mm -hmm. What made you think of Bakit a bike? Uh, um, this is help that does not perish. This is help that will last for, let, let's say, about um, at least two years, maximum five years. Uh, this is help that will give them dignity in work and will not just, you know, hand over, dole out, na bibigyan mo lang sila ng cash, bibigyan mo lang sila ng pagkain. Ito talaga, sustainable solution. And you empower them also. Mm -mm. I like what you said that it's help that will not perish. And you give them dignity, right? There, there's a, a famous quote that says, if you give a, a man a fish, you fed him for a day. But if you teach him how to fish, you've actually um, helped him, you know, in his lifetime. And, and, and a bike is a similar way because you're not only helping him that one day, mm -hmm. right? But you're giving him really, uh, hindi lang to, it, it's not only that it doesn't perish, but um, he can use it for so many other things. Yes. So, what were they talking about? Yes, it was about a bicycle donation drive to help people go on working even amid the pandemic. In knowing the topic of a conversation or other texts, listening for gist is very useful. To know the gist or the central idea of a text, you need to have a general understanding of the material. You need not understand each and every word, nor focus on specific details to do this. Pay attention to the speaker's tone and the loudness of his or her voice to know if he or she is emphasizing key statements. When you listen to a product commercial or advertisement, do you intentionally listen to the whole material? Let's try this one. Sky Fiber's most affordable plan just got even better. For only 999 pesos per month, get unlimited fiber fast broadband. Now with speeds of up to 10 Mbps. Now you can get the internet experience you deserve at a price you can afford. Stay connected and be productive all you want with your own Sky Fiber plan. Subscribe now. Just call 34180000 or visit mysky.com.ph. Average speed at 4 Mbps. Minimum speed at 820 kbps. 80% of the time. Imagine hearing the same material while doing something like eating, browsing your phone, or reading. Commonly, we don't stop to listen and understand the whole text. Instead, we just listen to certain information that we think would be useful to us. In this case, perhaps the cost of the internet service being advertised or the MBPS that the brand offers. The strategy used in this listening scenario is listening selectively. Doing great, Star Learners! 
it's time to test your understanding of the listening strategies that we've discussed. Analyze the following scenarios and identify the most appropriate listening strategy to be used. Draw one star if it's listening for details. Two stars if it's listening for gist. And three stars for listening selectively. Here are the answers. If you got all the correct answers, you just got 5 stars from Teacher Lester. Job well done! But if some of your answers are wrong, don't be disheartened. You can go back to the items to understand the scenarios even better. Still, congratulations! Keep in mind, there are various listening strategies and skills that we can use depending on our purpose. Listen for details if you need to answer certain questions. Listen for gist if you need a general understanding of a text. And listen selectively if you only need a specific type or a particular information. In our next online session, we'll explore additional listening strategies. But in the meantime, work on your module and worksheet activities for the first lesson of the second quarter. This has been Teacher Lestar, your guide in becoming star learners of English. Together, let's listen, speak, read, write, and think in English. See you on the next episode of English On Air. Have a great day!